Now this is a totally different location, approximately five miles away from the previous herd that we just saw. And if you pay close attention, you'll see some familiar bull elk in this group. And it's pretty cool to see that he traveled so far. Uh, they really get moving around. And this is probably about three to four weeks after that first video I showed you. So it's pretty interesting. With this bull, my daughter and I were filming this large group of elk and he, they just happened to walk in on us. They were trying to water at this dugout. You know, dugouts used for collecting rainwater and watering cattle and wildlife and whatever else potentially could use it. And so he was coming in to kind of play around in the water and get a drink. So it's pretty cool that we were able to, you know, hear these elk, what was it, November bugling and um, that was pretty awesome and to see such a big group that was cool so my daughter and i began the 2021 gun season by sleeping in the truck we had heard reports that there was going to be northern lights potentially being on display and we stayed up till about 10 10 30 but um, we couldn't stay awake and so i was going to sleep in the back of the truck and the bed and Kimberly was going to sleep. My daughter was going to sleep in the in the cab. Um, so we both fell asleep. And while we were sleeping, I was in the back. I felt something crawl up on me. It felt sort of like a cat or an owl and landed on me. And so I was in a deep sleep and I fought to woke up. And when I woke up, the northern lights were firing off. And so uh, we were pretty excited. This is something for me, especially I would I was hoping to show her because It was her first experience seeing the northern lights. So we were very excited. It's interesting. You can see different Pulsations really as the particles seem to hit the atmosphere. It was pretty pretty cool. So This was kind of a special moment
That next morning, I glassed up a buck that was still in velvet. Keep in mind, this is November, and it was very unique to see a deer still in velvet. This is the second buck in the scouting season that I discovered that had velvet. All right, it's uh, November 4th. We're kind of in the Badlands the day before hunting season. I'm trying to scout up some deer. I'm here with my daughter, Kimberly. Hello. We're um, driving to a new spot. Last night we got there late, too late to scout, but we kind of set up camp, sort of, and slept on the truck, I guess. And, Saw so some bucks in the morning, but nothing nice. So we're trying to go to this different spot to kind of check it out, see what we can see. But um, hopefully we can find some bucks or at least something a little bigger than what I saw. A lot of two points. I saw a three point in velvet, so that's kind of cool. But starting to get cold. Not super bad, but. Um, it's nice now, it's 46 right now. Uh, anyway, thought we'd share a little update. Say hi, Kimberly. Hi. So we set up camp. We got this sweet tent ready to roll. It's big, it's like an eight man tent. So. Mm. It's shaped like an igloo. Shaped like an igloo, huh? Kimberly, you wanna open it up? I like it because, you know, you can stake, stake it down. It's uh, pretty slick. Um, you want to hold that up for two seconds? So yeah, we got our coolers, water, chair. But inside it's pretty, pretty spacious. There's my tent, or a cot, and totes. Got a table, Kimberly's bed. If it got cold, we'd hook that up, but it's been really, really nice. Um, it's probably 55. <laughs> we thought it would be a lot warmer, a lot colder, I mean, but anyway, it's a pretty nice setup. We're happy with it. But it's time to go get positioned on some deer and see what we can see. It's the Thursday, so day before, day before opener. So we got to go out and see what we can find. All right, so opening day, half an hour before the season starts. Um, I've lost really in land. I mean, I've hunted here eight years. So I don't know how they move, but last night it downpour and it was crazy. It's crazy windy as you can hear, but looks like the rancher came up. Hello, hi. Uh, we just got done hiking and to, I took a shot at a buck last night and it looked like it was gut shot. Um, it bedded down right away and so um, I tried to shoot it in the neck when it was bedded but I, I must have missed. But So we're back in here this morning. Actually, another funny thing is we bumped into another hunter, um, a forest service guy, and he helped us look for it for a while. But we didn't see any blood, so I kind of thought, hey, it's got shot, let's ball back out. Um, come to find out, that buck was probably about 100 yards away from where we're looking, and I'm pretty sure it was probably dead. 
So we're gonna walk up on him. Um, this is Kimberly's first deer, you know, experience and seeing this. And uh, it was cold last night. It got down well below freezing. All the grass is pretty frosty. Yeah. So Kimberly's a tough girl. She toughed <laughs> it out. And uh, we had a heater though, and so that helped. But um, here we are back the next morning. We'll take a video as we come up on this deer. So here we go. Where'd he go? Is he up here? Maybe that was what I thought was him. Oh shoot. Oh no, there he is. Okay. I was freaking out. Keep going. <laughs> oh, he's gonna be stiff. Oh, yeah. Yes. So happy. <laughs> that one. <laughs> That's cool, huh, honey? He's a toad. <laughs> he's got like a short and like fat neck. <laughs> he's a big boy. Sure. See a little tuft of hair right here. But... I mean, that's where I was aiming, but where did he come from? His hooves are so cool. Oh my gosh. He's an old dude. Yeah, very we'll old. We'll check his teeth, but look at all the, the character on his bases. It's cool. He has so much personality. Oh, here's blood. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it might be shot back. Oh, come back here too. Are you guys tail? Got some blood. Yeah, just some smearing. Who knows? There's the deer. Well, you want to tie him up? Yeah, we're going to tag him and cut him up. <laughs> 